was pretty cool speaking to two sort of really important Australians, I'd say. And just to sort of hear like um, their experiences and lessons that they learned in their sort of high pressure working environment um, in the military, um, how we can sort of bring it back to what we do as athletes and how we can sort of convert some of the te techniques that they use um, and sort of that help them to remain calm under sort of a high pressure situation. So yeah, it was really cool to sort of see um, and hear some of their, their experiences. I think definitely I, I was going to say that's probably the biggest sort of relationship and something that we share with um, guys like that in the military um, is performing in a very high pressure situation and sort of the internal and external factors that can help you succeed in a high pressure environment. So to sort of understand what they do in a, once again, a very high pressure environment is very interesting and see sort of what we also do and how we can use what they do um, in their environment and, and how their culture sort of handles with these different situations. Yeah, I think um, like I think for everybody it's different how we all deal with pressure. Um, but I know like they use breathing techniques like yoga, um, meditation, all those things. And I think that's something that's sort of opened my mind that could be a possibility to help me to deal with pressure. Obviously, I sort of have my own things that I do and um, that help me in those you know, high pressure environment. So yeah, I think, you know what they said, just sort of opened my mind to new possibilities and, and ways of approaching certain environments, races and important competitions. Well, I think for me, it's um, very unusual from where I come from, you know, this type of stuff was not really included in my training um, a couple of years ago, but I think it's something that definitely will add value and is 100% gonna help us grow, grow as athletes and if we can just take you know small pieces of advice and, and lessons um, that we can gain from these these workshops i think it's going to greatly benefit us so yes it is unusual but greatly beneficial at the same time